In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, create a Turnitin enabled assignment. Uh, to do this, you go to the module where you would like to create an assignment. Uh, you click on this plus button and create an assignment. Okay, and you add this item. And Turnitin is um, already enabled uh, for our account, so you don't need to uh, go to Turnitin.com uh, to set it up, so just uh, do this directly within Canvas. And once this assignment is uh, created, you click on it and click on Edit, and then assign points here. And you can also um, add some instructions here and put it in a proper assignment group. And um, for a submission type, you choose External Tool, and then you find. Uh, Turnitin Feedback Studio down here you select it and then uh, do you allow unlimited attempt or just one attempt one I choose one for this one and for these other parameters you set it up um, based on your need and then for assignment you assign it to everyone you can set a due date but make sure that this due date will be the same with the Turnitin due date, which you were set next, okay? Let's say I'm going to set it the due date to be uh, the last day of the month. And available from and until will govern when students can start to submit and when they will not be able to submit anymore, okay? Once again, if you set this up, make sure these dates are going to be consistent with the other dates, which I will show you next. So you save this assignment. I'm not going to publish it right now. Uh, and then once you set this up, you will see the Turnitin options showing up here. Uh, if you don't see this, it may be show up as the three bars. Uh, depends on how uh, your screen looks like. You can make this a little bit narrow, and then you will see that the three bars are showing up and you click on this you will see the options too okay and now I'm, I just mentioned that you need to consider the dates uh, turn it in dates uh, the start date is mean it means when you can start to submit it um, this date has had better be the same with the available from date in campus so let's say this is the time uh, make sure, make sure, also make sure that you use a 24-hour format. So let's say 8 o'clock. Uh, you don't need to put a.m. and p.m. because it uses the 24-hour um, format here. And the due date, I remember, that's the end of the, the month. And let's say 11.59, I prefer, uh, okay, well 11.59 actually make it um, before noon to make it before midnight, you have to put 23 here. And feedback release date, it means when they can start to see the feedback. If you just, uh, if somebody just submitted like uh, on the 11th, for instance, if I want them to see that immediately, so I can just um, start this at this time, like um, 8, 0, 1, and then your dates have been set up and we have made sure this is consistent with the canvas dates because otherwise they can conflict with each other and then i also would like you to go to optional settings to check everything uh, submit paper to uh, standard paper repository that means when you your students submit a paper the paper will go into the Turnitin database if it is a draft and you want to use Turnitin again, then you do choose not to store this in their database. And do you allow submission of any file type? If you don't select it, it will accept PDF and Word. And do you allow delayed submission? Uh, and do you enable grammar check? I would prefer that you have this checked because it really helps students in their writing, okay? And you can check which handbook to use, uh, high school or advanced. and this will just make sure that um, students can see their usual spelling, grammar, and usage arrows. But sometimes some of this might be falsely flagged, so you have to judge it yourself. If you see there's a wrong marking from um, 
turn it in you might want to remove that and what do you want to compare this with student paper repository and that means all the papers that have been submitted to the turn in database current archive website content periodical journals and publications turn it in has a fairly large database you can also choose um, a similarity report if you generate the reports immediately and then you cannot resubmit it or you can just generate uh, reports um, but students can resubmit it until the due date okay so you, it depends on whether you want them to resubmit it or not you remember that i said the attempts to be only one so probably the first one is a better choice do you want them to see the similarity reports um, do you want to exclude certain um, materials quoted materials and small sources if it is small so how many words you can accept so define this and you can save this for the future use and then you submit it and, and also uh, if you just want to use peer review in turn it in um, you can enable peer mark the same kind of peer review option is also available in canvas by the way so now you have your assignment set up using turn it in once everything has been set up you make sure that the, the paper is also published so that people can start to submit it when the time has come for them to submit it so what does it look like when somebody t turn it in something so i'm going to show you one example so this assignment utilizes uh, turn it in so when students have uh, submitted their paper you will see there is a high match between uh, this paper and some other sources so this is really a uh, problematic paper so let's click on this and we'll see uh, you you see there is a very high match um, between this paper and this source so that is how turned in determines whether this paper is authentic and also you will see towards uh, the bottom of the page you can see there is a word count that shows how many words this paper contains so i also found that to be quite helpful uh, you click on uh, ETS um, the feedback it shows the different issues that are uh, present in this paper so this is how on um, turning in uh, works within campus uh, I hope you find this helpful if you have any questions please let me know thank you